Okay, we're doing a crankcase vacuum test, a cheap and easy method. Um, I built my own little instrument out of a little uh, hose here and I inject colored water. The water I just colored because you can see it easier in this video here. You can do clear water too, so you see where this U, the water column, is sitting. Um, I was prepared to do like around 4 inch water column but um, if you have more then you need to do the U a little longer. Um, I have a cork in here, a rubber cork, two holes. So with one I closed with a screwdriver so that uh, I don't lose any air there. And now we are connected to the crankcase through the dipstick hole. And then we can run the engine. Um, first of all very important to <coughs> pinch the hose so that it cannot suck when you start the engine. So now I release, there we have it. So the engine, the crankcase has a vacuum and it's sucking on this water column here. And then I need a measuring tape to measure how much this is. Uh, the engine is running in idle right now. You're supposed to run this in full speed. So in idle I have 6 inch water column. Um, at full speed you're supposed to have more than 4 inch, so I have this already in idle. That means this engine is great, there is enough vacuum in there to keep the oil in when this thing is running. So if you have less than 4 inch then you need to uh, change the breather valve in the valve cover. So you can see when I do more speed then it runs out of fluid in my little U there on the bottom and then I suck air bubbles and then I probably suck in the whole water stuff into the engine what I want to avoid under all circumstances. So you have to make this U longer if you want to have measure more pressure.